guys, I'm Sushmita from Miss Pink Shoes and welcome to your review week day number 6. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing for you guys the Kama Ayurveda Organic Neem Cold Pressed Oil. Now again, this is one of those highly requested products that a lot of you guys have been asking for a review of. I got this along with my plum green tea range around 2 months back and I've been using this ever since. So yes, if you'd like to know my review on this product, then please keep on watching. So I'm going to start out with packaging and the price point. So this is priced at rupees 650 sorry 675 for 200 ml of oil which is kind of pricey I have to say and this is packaged something like this it comes in this bottle which looks really cool from far away it looks like a glass jar but it's a plastic bottle dark brown in color and the sticker is in green so Kama's packaging in general is something that I really like because it's very classy very elegant simple and it looks very close to nature in some way or the other because all the colors that they use in their packaging is very you know nature like so yeah I really like their packaging and it has a golden cap and I personally like the shape of the bottle a lot so basically it says that it can be used on your face on your body and on your hair so I'm just going to read out the directions and what it says that you can do with it so basically it says that Kama Ayurveda's neem oil is 100% pure and cold pressed from organic neem seeds from the farms of Tamil Nadu okay it's from here um, for use of sensitive facial skin and scalp dilute equal parts of neem oil with organic sweet almond oil or organic sesame oil for use on sensitive sensitive body skin dilute two parts of neem oil with one part of organic sweet almond oil or organic sesame oil so if you have sensitive skin you have to dilute this but if you don't have sensitive skin you don't have to dilute this you can use it directly that's how I used it so as I mentioned before it can be used on face hair and on the body so on the face you just have to apply a few drops leave it for 20 to 30 minutes and cleanse it with the mridul soap free cleanser which is by Kama so I happen to have that face wash so every single time I've use this oil I've used that face wash along with it for body also it says that for all over body you can use it and massage it and leave it for 30 minutes and cleanse with Kama Ayurveda Upton soap free body cleanser so although I have the Upton I never really got a chance to try it because I never use this on my body and I just gave the Upton away to somebody because I had so many soaps to try out now coming to the hair so it says gently massage into the scalp allow it to work for 30 minutes cleanse with Kama Ayurveda hair cleanser of choice so again I've not tried any of Kama's hair cleanser so I used it with my regular shampoo so I'm gonna talk about how it worked for me and how I personally used it so starting out with the face so how I personally used it was I cleaned my face really well with a mild cleanser then I took a few drops of this and applied this all over my face and just gave myself a nice two minute massage and I let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes so while it's sitting I'm editing my videos or doing some college work or something or the other so it's not really difficult you know to make time for this because it does not take too long you just have to take a few drops and apply it and after which I would use the Kama Ayurveda Mridul soap free cleanser as I mentioned so this always leaves my skin feeling so soft like you're using oil on your face so of course it's going to make your skin really soft but for my skin especially when I had a lot of active acne going on my skin got really rough and there was a lot of texture on my skin so after using this my skin would just feel so nice and supple and pampered and at the same time I saw a lot of difference with my acne as well so I was using the plum green tea cleanser twice a week and I'm still using that but I've just reduced using this as of now because I'm testing out another product but while I was using this for my acne what I did was I would use the plum green tea cleanser twice a week and twice a week I would use this so I was using a mask on my face four times a week and I really feel that the result that you guys are seeing now is a combined effort of both the products but this product on its own worked really well because I've always been hesitant of applying neem oil on my face because I've always felt like it's really strong but this is not as strong but at the same time it works I'm not saying that it's not a pure version of neem but this just does not feel really harsh on the skin which is something that I love another thing that I like about it a lot is that it spreads really well onto your face although it's a thick oil it's concentrated you just need two to three drops of this to just apply all over your face and I'm sure you'll have some left onto your hands that you can take down your neck so it fares out really well on the face and it just spreads really well which is something that I love now coming to the hair so on the hair what I like to do is take a bit of this oil in a bowl so it's easy for me to access it then what I like to do is take an ink dropper like this and just take some oil and what I do is just part my hair and pour a few drops of this onto my scalp and then rub it so what that does is that it straight away takes the product into the scalp 
scalp and it does not just take the oil into the hair so what happens is that when we take the oil with our fingers although we go straight into the scalp half of the oil gets applied onto the hair itself and barely anything goes onto the scalp so this method sort of makes sure that the product is going into the scalp so i always use an ink dropper to apply oil and it works really well for me and i have seen such a major difference in my dandruff i cannot even tell you guys so i was using the deep free anti dandruff lotion which at that point worked really well for 4 5 months i was dandruff free and i was so happy but after a point my dandruff started coming back and when it came back it was much worse than what it was before so i was really disheartened and disappointed and sad and i just didn't know what to do because i tried applying curd and lemon just lemon just curd neem paste with curd like i tried a lot of things and they would work but my dandruff would just keep coming back and for me to take out time for something like that is a little difficult for me to oil my hair is much easier because it's lying in my room i just have to take the oil and apply and for those things i have to go around to my kitchen do something and bring it on top so it did become a bit of a hassle but with this product i saw such amazing results like i hope you guys can see my scalp how clean it is right now and i haven't washed my hair in 3 days like it's this is my third day hair my hair has not gotten oily or anything and it's just free from dandruff so i still have a bit of my dandruff left it's not like it's completely gone but my scalp is much clean than what it was and i'm just really impressed and honestly cuz i haven't used this in the last two weeks because i've just not had the time i haven't used it on my face mainly because i'm testing out a serum as i mentioned but for my hair i've just not had the time to use it and still you can see that my scalp is clean so i'm really happy with this and even if my dandruff sort of comes back if i stop using this i don't mind because i want to continue using this onto my hair mainly because it also moisturizes my hair really well so what i do is i apply it on my scalp and then i take a small amount and just take it over my ends like so so what that does is that it nourishes my ends really well and whatever is left onto my hands i just run it through my hair i don't like applying oil all over my hair because it just makes it really difficult for me to wash and when i use more shampoo i land up stripping my hair of its natural oil so i always apply this oil particularly onto my scalp and onto my ends and it just works really really well for me so now coming to the body i never really use this on my body mainly because of the aroma because whenever i'm applying an oil to my body and massaging myself i want something which is really nice smelling like that's just my thing i want something which smells amazing and which just relaxes me down like that's my whole idea of doing a massage otherwise i go to a spa and get like a proper massage done but when i'm doing something at home i'm really aroma conscious so that's the reason why i've never used it on my body because it smells really bad and i just don't want to get this onto my body now coming to the downside which can be a bit of a bummer so the smell is pathetic like i cannot even tell you how bad it smells my entire room starts smelling bad it's that bad so what i do is if it's something that i'm doing during the day i sit in my balcony and i do it and my neighbors are just looking at me and laughing but still like it does it just keeps away the smell from my room so yeah if it's during the day i sit in the balcony but if it's in the night there's so many mosquitoes i have to do it in my room so yes my room does become a little smelly and the next downside is the taste like there are a lot of times even if you keep it away from your mouth what happens is that when you're washing your face you land up taking your hands over over your lips and if you just leave even a mild layer of this onto your lips and even after washing it off if you land up licking your lip you're just going to get the worst taste ever because it tastes really bad and like for hours together if you don't eat anything or drink anything your mouth is just going to feel really weird and you're just going to have this really bad taste in your mouth so make sure you keep this away from your lip area and also keep it away from your eye area because this is really concentrated and it does burn and there are times when my eyes have just turned blood red after this has gone into my eye because it just is really concentrated so make sure you keep this away from your eyes as much as possible so if you are somebody suffering from acne acne scars or dandruff i would totally recommend this to you guys but otherwise if you don't have any of these problems this oil is not going to do much for you because you don't really need a neem oil you can go for some other oil which works for your problems but yes for acne acne scars and for dandruff this works really well So now giving you guys a quick recap of the entire review so you can make up your mind whether you want to buy this or not. So the first thing is that it's easily available online. Next thing is that it really helps in diminishing your acne and fading away your acne scars. Third, it's really light on the skin and does not feel like you're wearing something really heavy. Having said that, if you guys have sensitive skin, I would totally recommend you guys to dilute this with another oil. Otherwise, it can be a little too strong for you. The downsides is the smell that it smells really bad. The taste again is really bad although it's not an edible product it can go into your mouth so you have to be really careful about that the third thing i feel is slightly pricey for the brand and for the product and 
for the quality i personally don't mind it because it works really well and i don't need too much of it but yes if you are somebody who has long hair and if you want to apply it onto your hair this is going to run out really quickly so yes price point is a bit of a bummer because it is slightly expensive so that was it for this review guys i really hope you guys liked it and this comes in use to you and if it did don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel the link is down below you can also follow me on my facebook instagram snapchat and twitter all the links are given in the bottom bar and i'll see you soon in my next video thank you so much for watching guys bye